Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly love update. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius. So take the messages that resonate with you, leave the rest behind. Alright, I've already meditated on your cards, I've already called in the Divine. For Divine Assistance, we're going to go ahead and get started Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. What are the messages please? What are the messages please? What are the messages please? person we have the two of cups your person's energy justice your energy ten of pentacles all right aquarius off to a great start here what are the messages please aquarius, sun, moon, rising. what do they need to know Six of Wands, your person has the Eight of Swords, you have the Sun card. Five of Coins, your person has the Star card, you have the Page of Cups. All right. So things are looking pretty good here for you, Aquarius. We just got a couple of things that need to be clarified. We're going to start with the Eight of Swords here. Why the Eight of Swords, please? All right, because what I'm seeing right now is that there's definitely love between the two of you, but there's something that your, your partner deems as... What something wasn't fair uh, to them or in their opinion and whatever it was that took place that they deemed as unfair they still think about this a heavy all right I feel like there was some kind of situation where somebody else might might have been involved I don't think it was something that was long-lasting I don't think it was something that dragged on I think it was some kind of certain situation that took place all right or some kind of outside involvement that this person your person just continuously thinks about now. They do try to heal from this energy. They don't want to overthink it. They don't want to be stuck in their head about it, but they are. All right. Between, um, well, in the center of this reading, we have the six of wands. So there's going to be a victory here. Your person will get over it, you know, but they, it's like this, they have this nagging sense of feeling left out or like, you know, like you turned your back on them. But in actuality, you didn't. It's just something that happened when the, the connection was young, you know. The connection was still young whenever whatever this is that took place but your person still took it to heart all right you do have love for this person um and you do want to you want to you want this connection to grow right you got high hopes and a, a, a vast vision for what can happen here it could be gemini that you're dealing with right could be an aquarius could be an earth sign here virgo all right nonetheless you definitely want to nurture this connection and you want it to grow whatever happened you don't think about it anymore it wasn't a big deal to you but it was a big deal to them tell me about this five of coins yeah see your past whatever whatever it was you're like who still thinks about that not me yeah, it was a third party that was involved, but this was very early on in this connection. Like, you've worked past that, that it's not a big deal to you, but it's a big deal to them. Five of Swords, tell me more. Judgment card and the moon. They felt like you kept, like there's still something going on there. There's, you probably 
people see this person is what they're thinking and you're not telling them there's something that they feel is hidden when it comes to this person tell me about yeah they want it to totally end there's some kind of connection that you still have with this person that you work with them could be you have children with them but there's some kind of connection that's still there with you and the person and they want it to completely end is what they want tell me about the justice card please why is it here why is justice here Yeah, they're constantly, it's like they go, they're going to defend their, their stance on that and hold firm to whatever it is that they're asking you for. You know that this person feels this way. Yeah, they feel like, you know, it's they don't necessarily feel like, you know, you're cheating with this person anymore. But it's something about this old situation that just really rubs them the wrong way. Tell me about justice. And they're ready, they're ready to move on past that, but they want you to move past that too. This is somebody that you were connected to in the past. Um, somebody that you could have um you could have been married to the person. Um, somebody that you could have a child with, but it's somebody that you had a connection with. Um some type of deep connection marriage because we have the queen and the king of rods here but they're both in reverse so you're not thinking about that person that person's not thinking about you but your person is still holding on to whatever that connection was so maybe your person was the third party and you were with whomever you know during the in-between time but they are now insecure you know about it And wanting you to not have any connection to that person whatsoever. But I feel like there's an older child that's involved. And that's why. That's what's keeping you connected to this person. Alright. mouse spirit here tend to the small things we have the pig spirit here use your mind wisely and we have the elephant spirit learn from the past all right so Aquarius what I'm seeing here is that this person they are Aggie basically about you know somebody from your past something that happened long ago um and that was early on in you guys connection but they're still holding on to it and the divine is basically here saying you can you can rectify or relieve this person of those feelings simply by acknowledging how they feel um, and, and reassuring them that nothing's there. This is basically what you need to do to help your person to feel better because there is nothing there. Things are balanced, but they just don't see it. Right, things are balanced, and you're able, you have the ability, you have the mindset, you have the know how to balance this out with this uh, pig spirit uh, number 47, which reduces to a, to a two. You can re, you can fix this and put things back on a stable foundation with this number 40 mouse spirit reducing to a four. You can bring stability back in for your person, all right. Get them out of this pivot information, thinking about the past with this card number 25, which reduces to a 7. 
you know, kind of still holding on to the past, you can help them to let go simply by reassuring them, acknowledging their feelings because their feelings are real. Acknowledge what they're feeling and address it um, and give them that peace of mind that they need. It's simple, that's all you have to do in order to get past, past that. All right, so that's what I have for you this week, Aquarius. If this resonates with you, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future readings. Feel free to comment. Let me know if this is your story. All right, if it did not resonate with you, watch your moon and rising sign readings to see if there's any messages there for you and come back for your weekly update. Thank you.